what we really tried to achieve with the, the Model S um, was to, to create a compelling electric car, something that was really different from people's prior experience. Because most people, last time they drove an electric car was probably a golf cart, or, or maybe a milk, milk uh, float. A, a, milk, a milk, milk float. float. Yeah. Um, so, um, so they're, they're used to, an, their idea of an electric car is something that doesn't look good, isn't fast, doesn't have high performance, has low range. We wanted to break the mold of all of that. And so produce something that was beautiful, uh, had high acceleration, incredible handling, uh, had tons of capability, lots of room, um, and really was better than any gasoline car. That's what we sought to achieve. We're going to be uh, creating supercharger locations throughout the UK. So you'll be able to charge anywhere uh, at a Tesla supercharger location. Um, and one of the things that we do with, with these supercharger locations is that they're, they're free. So if you buy a, a Tesla, you can, you'll be able to travel for free anywhere in Britain. Um, and, and it's free forever. And I'll add one more thing to that, which is we're going to be installing solar panels at all of the supercharger locations, which are intended to develop or, or, or generate more electricity in the course of the year than the cars consume that, that, that charge there. So the, the net result is that you'll not only be able to travel for free forever, but on pure sunlight. When I first started this back in 2012, nothing about zero emission trucks was cool. No one even thought about it. The investors I went to talk to told me I was nuts. They told me I was crazy. And what ended up happening was the diesel scandal had really hit. And at that moment, the world realized that the diesel world was cheating emission standards in order to sell more diesels. When the truck came out and all the orders started coming in, that's when I knew that we were onto something. The advantage of hydrogen is it has an indefinite cycle life. Hydrogen can last forever. So you can reutilize it for millions of years and it'll never, it'll never run out. If you've got something and you feel like you've made the right decision, the wind's at your back, just attack it, just go at it. And if you fail, fail graciously. And what'll happen is that'll morph you into something better. And then you'll get back up and you're gonna do it again, you're gonna fail graciously. Every time you fail means you've got enough guts to learn what someone else is too afraid to learn. And you're that much closer to success. And once you get it, damn, it just feels good.